I would like to be a scientist. Our project is electricity, conductors, and insulators. And in, in Sabbath, we're engineers too, so we made... It's an excellent program because it influences the math curriculum, and it just ties in everyday problems and problem solving. This event is a STEM recognition event. It's being held by an organization called SABES, which stands for STEM Achievement in Baltimore Elementary Schools. SABES is a partnership between Johns Hopkins University and the Baltimore City Public Schools, and it's funded by the National Science Foundation. And the purpose of this project is to engage with three particular communities within Baltimore City and uh, work with them both during the school day and after school um, and with the community as a whole in order to raise the profile of STEM within the community and instill STEM as a value. I think science is very important to children that go to urban schools because I don't think that in general we get enough exposure to science in the regular classroom environment. Our project is electricity, conductors, and insulators. And circuits. We created different types of circuits like simple circuits, series circuits, and parallel circuits. And with different items, we tried to let electricity flow through different items. And if the electricity can flow through an uh, item, that that's means it's a conductor. And if, a, a, if the if electricity cannot flow through an item, that, that makes it an insulator. So we think it inspires students by giving them the opportunity to do things that are hands-on, so they get to build things themselves, see how they work, improve them, test them, um, and really engage one-on-one -on -one with the activities. But beyond that, we're trying to pilot something that we call um, student-driven projects. So the purpose there is to allow students the opportunity to go into their own neighborhood and say, What's going on in my neighborhood? Where does science and engineering fit in my neighborhood? And what are projects I could work on where I'm deploying science or engineering to deal with the problems that I think are relevant? My project is magnets and how to build a vacuum cleaner. As a parent, I believe this is a good program because it keeps kids motivated and involved in their learning and it you know, creates in them a, a want or I guess a need you know, to learn. So the outcome we're really hoping for today is that the students come to the Science Center, get to experience the Science Center, but get to show off what it is that they've been doing all year long. By being the one explaining that they get to feel some facility with science and engineering themselves and they can see themselves as the expert. We want to accomplish to see how much a vacuum can suck up from outside by the trash that's on the ground. Me and my friends, we started to do a project because we were collecting trash and we did so much trash that we tried to build a vacuum and see what we had to collect while we were outside. It definitely um, introduces it, the curriculum to the kids and it also reinforces what they've already learned. It just is a great motivation booster. The kids are able to showcase what they've learned, showcase what they know. They're able to see what other students are working on. So we're gonna have to build something now. The trick is you can't tape it to the book, and you can't tape it to the team. We're engaging a whole lot of different populations. For example, some of our schools have large populations who, uh, for whom English is a second language. Well, science is, um, I, I like it. Be because um, we do experiments and I like, I like to do experiments and uh, we engineer and we do stuff like and um, in third grade we do guitars and, and instruments and all of those stuff. Le deseo todo lo mejor que sea posible, todo lo que yo pudiera desearle, lo que yo no tuve, quisiera que él lo tuviera, todo siempre lo mejor para él. I think he's doing great, yep, perfectly, always has signs, always, yep. I'm very proud of it, yeah. Sí, todo. Uh, estoy... Es la prioridad perfecta para mí. So the parents are obviously instrumental in preparing the students and enrolling them in the after-school program um, to begin with. But then this event is particularly important because it's an opportunity for the students to show off for their parents and family members what they've been doing, explain why they're interested in it and how it's important and maybe for parents to have bragging rights a bit to what their students have been doing during the day both in the classroom and outside the classroom. A fossil was a living thing that died in a natural source of water and was preserved over millions of years. 
and I will share some tips on for you to become a paleontologist. A paleontologist is some is a person who studies fossils. A paleontologist uses a brush to dig softly because if you if you if you smooth it out too hard, it might break. And like this fossil is a is a cockle shell because you can see it right here. It made me feel excited when I started doing experiments. It's been a fantastic experience seeing the kids like play with cars, think about uh, you know what does it take to make a car go, and and see like the first inklings of interest that could eventually you know germinate into like a lifelong interest in science and engineering. So I, I find it it's hard to think of something more worthwhile. <laughs>